This is the 1980 Leisure 23 SL. It's built by Cobra Mold in Essex. And um, she's twin keel, as you can see. And she has an inboard diesel, which is a Beta 13.5. was fitted in 2001. Well, they're really popular family boats or first boats you can dry out and they've got bags of accommodation for the size she has a Fairling Genoa Plastimo and a slab reefing mainsail the mainsail was new in 2020 and uh, the standing rigging is uh, was new in 2022 so she's been well updated spray hood uh, deck step mast um, lines led off to the cockpits to make it nice and easy uh, she's got an anchor and chain and a small anchor locker half cockpit with tiller steering she's got an outboard bracket on the transom in case you wanted a, an auxiliary just in case and a swimming ladder chart plotter uh, clipper instruments depth etc compass that's the lines that are led aft And there's a cockpit locker, engine control panel. So the engine's about 22 years old, beta, and it's done 900, 973 hours. So probably about average. And now the interior really looks good. Um, very roomy, it's about five foot 10 headroom. Dinette table, lowers to form a double. Steps aren't too steep. And then, yes, I'm about 5'10", I can stand up. Ford cabin, it, it's a little cluttered at the moment, but uh, has a double berth. And there is, um, doesn't have a separate head to this boat, but uh, does have a marine toilet in the forepeak, and you can separate that with a curtain privacy and then the saloon is rather nice uh, galley with a cooker and grill and uh, a sink with water supply there's a quarter berth as well so she's five berths technically that's the uh, VHF radio storage And uh, she's a clock and barometer and things. And the engine is under the steps. I'll just show you just the top. There we are, Beta Marine. And she has um, quite a nice switch panel and uh, battery monitor. And a nice slat cockpit floor. Great for the family.